Good morning, lovelies. It is bright and early in the morning, you guys. It is 38 degrees. It does not get that cold in California. <laughs> this you guys, welcome back to Thriftmas. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new here, I am vlogging, thrifting, doing something festive every single day until Christmas. And today we are hitting my favorite flea market. I am meeting the crew, but first I had to get a festive drink from Dutch Bros. I'm trying the chai a la mode. It's basically like a chai vanilla latte, but they're adding like pumpkin sprinkles on top. So it'll give it a little bit of a pumpkin chai vibe. So very excited for it. But today's gonna be a little difficult. For some reason, I could have sworn up and down and I had a $20 bill in my, in my cash little stash that I have for like flea markets and yard sales and I just assumed and this morning I went in I have a solid $15 you guys so we need to make good decisions today <laughs> but yeah okay I'll see you guys when we get over there not the Dutch Bros girlies gassing me up you guys that makes me so happy thank you for making me feel like a cool girl in my in my Subaru I love it when people ask me like what I use the top of my box for because I think they're like wanting me to say like oh it's just for looks you guys but nah I'm like no when I get a little carried away I like to put my thrift finds in there <laughs> it's for my thrifted clothing actually because I get out of hand <laughs> so just just in case you guys are wondering what I say when people ask me I tell them I stuff that bitch full of vintage clothes <laughs> okay bye Look how gorgeous this little tablecloth is with the sherubs. Can you see how pretty that is? They even have some red in the middle. Oh, I love it so much. So pretty. Came across this little rack. You know, it's looking like pretty new. And then at the very end, you guys, look at this funky little poncho. Turn around, let me turn around. Did you see that? Well, that's a cool little piece. Made in Mexico. Nice. That's a pretty white dress. Oh, it's a little Lulu's dress. Ah, oh, the stains. Do you see that? That, that would have been a really cute bridal little look. It even has like a foundation stain around the neckline. Bummer. That little lock's cute. Okay, there are some vintage pieces in here actually. Look at these little rose buttons. Cute. Oh yeah, that seems like it has a really cute body to it. I like the side buttons. I like the white on that. That one's pretty cute. Has a vintage tag on it too. getting filled up. It's a kind of successful day so far. We're finding some good stuff. Me, 
I, I don't know if I'm in the mood for thrifting because it's so dang cold so I don't want them to take my hands out of my pockets but I found a really cute Christmas sweater I almost wish I found it for Thanksgiving but that's okay all right keep you guys updated you guys I just hit this vendor right here and I freaking found like five anthropology dresses. So she sold them to me for $2 each. Well, I got two tops and like three dresses. And this one is gorgeous. $9. $9. I saved a whole dollar. $9, you guys. <laughs> Cannot complain. <laughs> we found some, a nice little jean box right here was chilling. We found some good stuff. Thank you. Some good, good stuff. Thank you. Have a good one. It's a vintage little Bailey's sweater, you guys. Made in the USA, everything. That's pretty cute. We also have some Levi's action class trousers. Some good stuff. Nice little pile right here. Everything's $5. I can't pay another $5. This piece of art is really calling to me. I don't know why. I think it's really cool. I was debating on both of these. I'm loving the Paul Frank. Obviously, I don't know what is up with me on Paul Frank right now, but we're going through it. And then look how cute this little vintage bag is. I love it. I think these are so cute. $10 for some pink cowboy boots. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. Look how cute. A little Harley baseball shirt, you guys. That is adorable. Can't go wrong with that. Putting it in the pile. We have left the flea market. I'm gonna go to one more thrift store and then I'm just gonna head home because I left the doggies inside because it was just so dang cold this morning. But it was a pretty successful day. The anthropology dresses made it for me, honestly. And yeah, pretty good, pretty good. But I'm honestly so dang hungry. I'm ready to eat. All right, lovelies. I'm back from the flea market and it was a pretty successful day. I went with $15, I want to say, and I made out pretty good. This, let's go ahead and go right into it. These were my last two finds that I found and I don't know what it was, but these BCBG little sweatpants were like calling my name as personals. I've been looking for a nice little just wide leg sweatpant and during Black Friday, I was like going hard. I really wanted to find a pair and everywhere I went, I couldn't find anything. So the fact that I found these at the flea for a dollar, cannot complain. Not me just casually slipping them on. Like, that's cute, you guys. I like how they're, like, low-waisted, too. I gotta get away from the high-waisted. I was just so into wearing my pants so freaking high. It was ridiculous. These are the next item that I picked up. They were called the Fleur, and then I flipped them around, and on the silver buttons, you can see that it's Old Navy. So we have some little Y2K Old Navy pants. I like the high rise wide leg of them. I really need jeans, you guys. There's only like one pair of jeans that I like are comfortable and I can wear as dailies. And it's definitely showing that I only have one pair of jeans. So I'm hoping these work because these are cute. Let's see how they do. I don't like them. I think my hips are a little bit too wide for them. So like my pockets are kind of busting out on the sides. I do like the rise. I think that is like pretty good. It feels strange not to have my belly button covered up. The booty's cute. The wide leg's cute. It's just this. That bothers me. I don't think it's cute. Oh well. They'll go up on the Depop shop. This is cute. It's definitely giving like um, world market vibes. And in, it's in the softest material. It's probably not silk because it's having some runs, but. Oh my gosh, tell me that's not the cutest shirt. There's another one. I don't know if it's a shirt or just like an ultra mini, so I'm gonna try it on with the jeans. But next up is this cutie. 
we have the little sheer long sleeves and it has a cute little open back so pretty sure it's a shirt let's slip it on this one's hella cute i'm loving the little keyhole in the back excuse my ugly ass blue bra but this is a really cute top i'm loving the high low mock neck with the little self tie <gasps> i'm telling you this was such a good freaking little find like i can't believe this lady had so much anthropology yay As you guys saw, I got some really cute dresses. This little moment with like the little lace as like the top half of the shoulders. This one's super cute, long sleeve, gotta love it. This one was like kind of like business court and this one's like the Maeve brand. Another brand sold at Anthropology though. I'm pretty sure Anthropology sells it too. Free people, all those good brands. I just love, like, this is so cute. It's giving teacher, it's giving mother, it's giving Thanksgiving, it's giving business. Like, that is so good. So sweet. And then this one, you guys, this one, I was like gaga for it. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this fits me. This one's an anthropology in. I honestly didn't check the sizes in any of these. This is a US 8, so we have good hope. Tell me that isn't so luxurious and pretty for a wedding. You guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like this colorway is just everything. Then I found this little skirt. I thought it was cute. It wasn't anything clothing co. You know, it's giving like 90s or Y2K. I thought that was just easy thing to throw up on the Depop. Like this. What is this? For grabbing things that I bought. Oh yeah, okay. Found this little top. This top is giving, no. A little polyester top, you know, cute. Vintage, grandma vibes. I like it because it only has that one or two button closure instead of a traditional button down. So I thought that was cute. And then these are what caught my attention. I was like, oof. I know like the little New York girlies are gonna style this dope. Like imagine this like layered with like a low rise mini skirt or like popping out of like pants. I don't know you guys. I just thought these were fun. They're obviously sheer. They're like, I don't even know what these are. I have no idea what these are. They have original price for $9.99. They're just funky goodness. And I think they can be styled so fun. So I had to pick them up, obviously. This is the first thing that broke the seal. And I don't know what it was, you guys. I just think it looks so rich. Like, I was like, I need to pick that up. It was a dollar. It's giving good vibes. Let me, let me slip it on. Oh, I wish I found this shirt before Thanksgiving. But I think it will still be kind of cute for a holiday sweater. Like, this is cute, you guys. This is so cute. This makes me want to buy freaking mid-rise pants so bad because this little moment is, like, cute. Ugh. I need some mid-rise. I just think this isn't supposed to be looking like that. But, yeah. Thank you so much for coming along and going thrifting with me. You guys are the best thrifting bed a girl can ask for. Please give your girl a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribed. I'll be posting every day this freaking month, you guys, all the way up until Christmas. So it's exciting stuff. But yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye.